hello, hello, everyone. I'm Lorena, Lorena Creole, bringing you that spice to sci-fi and pop culture analysis. And this evening, because it is evening for me, I am going to do a reaction to the Dune 2020 trailer. I have not seen it yet. I have purposely been avoiding looking at it, reading anything online about it. Um, I did see the trailer one time in the theater when I went to go see Tenet. And um, honestly, I really don't remember much from that trailer aside from seeing one particular scene and Jason Momoa. So with that said, I'm all comfortable, got my glass of wine, and let's check out the trailer. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. There's something happening to me. There's something awakening in my mind. I can't control it. What did you see? <gasps> There's a crusade coming. Do you often dream things that happen just as you dream them? Yes. The test is simple. Remove your hand from the box. Oh, it's the box! And you die. Oh, it's no box. Pain. You inherit too much power. You have proven you can rule yourself. Now you must learn to rule others. Something none of your ancestors learned. My father rules an entire planet. Ask Isaac. He's losing it. He's getting a richer one. I love the costumes. Oh my god. <gasps> Chase him. Right, the death trap. A little bit early. I'll kill him. This is an extermination. They're picking my family nice. one by one. Let's fight like demons. An animal taking a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? I know you. One day, the legend will be born. All of civilization depends on it. The future, I can see it. I know it's not fear. Fear is the mind killer. My Lord Duke. Where the fear is gone, only I will remain. Go, go, go! Worm sign, worm sign, there we go. Nice. Well, alrighty then. So, um, first observations: the trailer that I saw in the theater, I believe, was a little bit, a uh, little bit different. There were a couple of new things that I saw. I know I did not see the sandworm in um, the theater, or I just don't. Re either way, I really don't remember seeing um, the sandworm in the theater version that uh the trailer that i tri the trailer that i saw in the theater did not have the sandworm in it um overall uh overall it's a nice trailer to catch up um my only experience with dune is the david lynch version of the movie which i saw like probably 
date myself, like late 80s, early 90s. Just happened to rent it one day from Blockbuster, something cheap to do as a student, and just got hooked on the movie. I know it's cheesy. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I happen to like David Lynch. I'm a big Twin Peaks fan. Uh, Twin Peaks fan. So David Lynch really can't do any wrong in my eyes. Um, his version was visually stunning. Okay, I know that the one that went in the theaters, he didn't particularly like, so he got used the directing credit of Alan Smithy, which basically, I didn't sanction this version. I understand that, but that aside, I still loved watching it. I loved watching it, especially Patrick Stewart as uh, Gertie Halleck. Loved seeing him. Now, Dune 2020, um, again, shouldn't call it 2020, but this particular uh, incarnation of Dune, it looks slick. I'm not going to lie. It looks extremely slick. Um, lots of great visuals. The only people that I know in this movie really are <laughs> Jason Momoa, who's supposed to be Duncan Idaho, and um, Oscar Isaac which I believe is uh, Paul Atreides' dad. Those are the only two that I know, and frankly, that I, that I care about. Not quite, I mean, the plot, the original movie was kind, of, was kind of strange because you're trying to put that big, huge Frank Herbert book, Dune, which I did read, I did read that, and it was much more involved. I had to read the book because the movie didn't quite make sense, and frankly, it still didn't make sense after, after reading the book. So do I think that Dune is going to be this big, huge blockbuster? Um, depends what people are going out, you know, willing to see it. I wouldn't put it up there on my list of must have movies. I wanted to see Tenet a lot more than I wanted to see Dune. Um, hmm. I would say the trailer does make me want to see it. Um, do I want to see it in a hurry? Not necessarily. If it comes out in the theater, um, I'm probably not going to rush to see it. If I do, it'll probably be after it's out for a couple of weeks and I'll just catch it at a matinee. It's just not, um, it's just not stirring me really to go and see it. But, uh, you tell me in the comments, you know, looking at the trailer and, uh, Listening to my two cents, um, are you really into seeing the movie Dune? Uh, would you rather just skip it and watch the David Lynch version? Or if you are going to see it in the theater, how soon are you going to see it? Are you going to see it preview night? Are you going to see it the first week when it comes out? And especially if you do not like the trailer, I would like to know, I would like to know why. Um, so much hype that I heard around this movie. Um, the trailer doesn't seem to live up to to the fan hype machine or the vibes that I'm getting. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Let me know. Like I say, I am shallow enough to admit that the only two reasons I really want to go see this movie is Jason Momoa and Oscar Isaac. That's it. And I will not apologize. <laughs> so that's my spicy take about this trailer. What is, uh, what's your take? I'd love to uh, hear it in the comments. So let me know. So again, thank you so much for watching. Teamwork makes the dream work. So please like, share this video. And please subscribe if you haven't already to uh, enjoy my content and make sure you hit the notification bell so you find out when I have new things um, uploaded or when I'm going live just because it's a day that ends and why and I feel like it and probably have wine to drink. So with that, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening or day or whatever time of day that it is where you are and you are watching this. And remember, never underestimate the power of pop culture. Stay plugged in. And that sandworm is awesome. <laughs> Bye. Fear is the mind killer. <laughs>